time Dwight squats one, Dwight squats one over. Let's take you along on an adventure with the Dirty South. Got this blocked off. I wonder why this road is blocked off. Looks like there's a lot of old trees hanging over the road. Like maybe it might be deemed as being dangerous to drive up in here with a vehicle. get suspicious of bird sounds. You walk into an area and you hear a little bird whistle. It gets my mind thinking. Is that what looks like that uh, railroad ties type thing? Yeah. So that had absorbed some heat and that was showing up on the flare as a, as a high temperature on the flare. But something popped up from that and looked like it went to the, to the pine and then went up the hill. I mean, what was your angle on it? Like it went up the hill a little bit? This place looks weird during the day, don't it? Look at all that pile up of brush right there. It's weird how they piled all that up. And then they got some rock mounds over here too. I don't know why these rock mounds are here. But it may have looked like it kind of went up that hill right there.
here's a there's some coon tracks right here but they're not fresh though they're hard all this mud right here is kind of hard This mud's hard enough that it ain't showing my tracks in it. I mean, it's, it's hard and dirt. This, might, this right here might be somewhat fresh. It's a round circle. I do see coon and deer tracks in here. This looks like a little plateau up on that hill right there. Now look. Let's, let's get up on that hill and see what we can see. That looks like a trail. Yeah. Looks like they, they at one point in time had dozed up this and pushed some dirt up through here. Like they was going to do something. Or maybe they tore something down that was here. Either way. Because you can clearly see it. See it coming off that little hill right there? Something's been wearing that down. Oh, this is a great place to hide. This is a great place to hide. Right here. It's a cool spot, too. I would say it followed this way because it looked like it rose a little bit. It could be it right there. That looks fairly fresh. I'm going to climb up there. I see that. Dang, that's a clear, that's a clear trail right there. <laughs> I'd hate to be, uh, I hate to be out here. Well, I'd be out here in July, but you know what? You're gonna have a lot of ticks. Okay, and it's flat up here. There's a, there's a plateau. Yeah, there'll be a lot of snakes right here. You're right. This is one of those meeting ground type places where it's flat, isolated, it's like a meeting ground. It kind of looks like a print. Look at that. It looks somewhat interesting. It's a single though. And here's another one. This is some, somewhat what I'm talking about where that looks like a big hill mark. Where it looks like something standing beside, behind a tree watching. And there's another one right there. There's another hill right here. That's a hill mark. That's a clear hill. It's got a stick over it. I don't know how well you can see that. But.
this is this is a nice resting spot area right here. It's still thick. You can hide back in here. Now I think going back here, we're going to hit like a creek or maybe some water back in here somewhere. Maybe. Here's another one. Look at that. That almost looks like a, a toe right there. That looks like a short, fat track. That don't look like uh, turkey scratching. That's not how a turkey scratches. We gotta get out Oh yeah. That's a, I, like I said, that, that for 15 bucks, that's an awesome stick to carry around. I would say this is kind of an in-between area right here. That they might travel. It won't be seen from the road. And they can kind of move around. Shit, here's a trail, Bob. You'll follow it and see where it goes. Oh yeah, yeah, it helps out a whole lot. And anything you can put it on, like this, like you, what you got, even like this, even holding your tripod like this, it makes it steadier. Anything that's better than the hand. They say the farther the way of the hand is, and you still got a good grip on it, the steadier the video. And actually, there's a trick where you can take a camera strap, put it around your neck, pull to where the string is tight, and you get real steady video.
Well, one guy was putting a rubber band on his belt buckle and holding it up and filming. That actually looks good. I'm going to try that out. I don't see why that wouldn't work. I see some water down there. Ooh, I just felt a cold breeze coming through. This is an infamous structure. Well, it's funny how. I would call this totally natural. Yeah. Totally it's, natural. It's but it, look, it's, it looks cool, though. A lot though. of people would say, oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah. You can tell that's just falling over and pulled a bunch of crap with it. Yeah. It wouldn't take much, though. People say, well, who's going to do all the work to make this look like something? Listen, if it's already like this, it ain't going to take much more, much work, really, yeah. to, uh, to bore out a little cubby hole, a few sticks around it. I mean, it looks like the same thing you see all the time on the internet. I think we found uh, Matt Hooper's hornet's nest right here. I don't want to stick my finger in it though and see if it's an actual hornet's nest or if it's just a tree bog. Looks like there's a little white on top of it. Mm -hmm. That looks like some tree bark, and you got some holes in there. Hmm. Put a trail cam on that. Moss. That's an idea. <laughs> Just put a trail cam in something like that. Put it on the side of the tree. Yeah. Yeah.